Costume designer Terry Dressbach shares the story behind the look that she's beyond excited to see on screen. As Brianna stumbles her way through 18th century Scotland at the beginning of this week's episode of Outlander, it becomes immediately apparent that her clothing is a far cry from the expertly constructed bad suit Claire wore back in time last season. But in actuality, Brianna's 70s attire was inspired by what Claire wore through the stones, not on the television show, but in the source material, Diana Gabaldon's book. In the books, which I read about a billion times when they first came out, Claire, is written as wearing a Jessica McClintock dress which is essentially a Gus Axe. As a reader, I didn't really notice the costumes too much. But that costume I did notice, costume designer Terry Dressbach tells me over the phone, as we chatted about this fall's exhibit out Outlander costumes at Savannah College of Arts and Design. I remember thinking, but she's already been there. She's already lived in the 18th century. Why would she choose something that would get her like thrown into an insane asylum? She knows better. She would freeze to death. And out of that thought, the Batsuit from Season 3 was born. Like, if you are a really intelligent capable woman, would you go back in something you'd either freeze or be killed for? No. You'd figure out some practical way to handle it. But Dressbach held on to the idea of a Gus Axe dress for a year. I'm aware that it's a beloved costume for fans, Dressbach explained. So she decided to use Claire's look from the Voyager book as the inspiration for the outfit Brianna wears through the stones in season 4 of the television series. In that casual way that teenagers have, she can go, oh, it'll be fine. And throw on the Gus Axe dress and a cape, which, I had that same cape in 1970, and a pair of fry boots. And she'd look in the mirror, the same way she would if she was heading out to the Renaissance Fair, and go a. Eh? That's fine. Dressbox says she's beyond excited to see this full outfit on screen, but even with all the thought that went into the design, she isn't quite sure how the audience is going to react. For some people, it's got to be literally by the book, she tells me. And others really appreciate it when you come back at it and do it differently. I wanted to keep the dress in there because I knew people loved it, but I put it on a different character that I thought made more sense. 